Hey guys, just wanted to film this moment. I just rooted my XT910 again. Yes! Awesomeness. Epic win. Everything works now. Don't know why the phone reboots. Yeah, nice. Get to you in a few seconds. Hey guys, welcome to my new video. Since I bricked my phone in the past few weeks, had it bricked a few weeks and now I'm able to restore everything, my route and stuff. This video should show you how you get um, your system running and um, get your route back. And yeah, it should show you how to unbrick your phone. I searched a lot on the internet to unbrick it, but yeah, I tried everything. And then I discovered this post on xdadevelopers.com from sensitivity user and he had the same problem he was also bricked after the OTA and his um, CID got deleted before but he also saved his CID and he made a backup on his computer like I did so I had the same problem I just wanted to restore my CID to get my USB connectivity back and my USB debugging and my usual boot mode. So um, I was able to boot normally not only BP tools. Yeah. So what I did um, was um, I downloaded the O2 Jellybean GSM update. It's a fast boot file available also on xdadevelopers.com. I will give you the link in the description below. And yeah, when you fast boot your device, you guys all know it. Just hold the upper volume and volume down button and the power button at the same time. Hold them until the device powers off. And when the screen is black, release this button the power button and you will get to the boot menu scroll down to ap fast boot hit volume up and now your device is in fast boot mode so some people use flash it some people use rsd light for me rsd light is a bit more simple and i use this program this application on my computer hey you see me behind the camera without any glasses that's cool. I hate my glasses, but I have to wear them because of my driving license. And every time I have to drive my car, I have to wear them. So this um, application I used, RSD Lite version 6.0. I can also give you the link in the description below. And download the O2 Jelly Bean RSD Lite um, so um, download this fast boot file. Yeah, when you have this fast boot file, simply hit these three buttons here, uh, three dots. Go to your directory where you have placed your fast boot file. I have it here and raise the stuff, CID and unbreak. And open the XML document. Make sure you have unzipped it correctly and um, hit the XML file of this fastboot file. Go to open and then connect your device via USB. Simple as that. Plug it in and see if this pops up. If not, you have to install your USB drivers for your phone. But this should always. Um, stand there, status connected and model fastboot. Then uh, hit start. I will not hit start now because my phone already has this version of Jelly Bean on it. So if your phone is bricked or something else, you have a corrupted version, just hit start. And you can flash the O2 um, international, uh, not international, but GSM update. To unbreak your phone and yeah when you're done just um, hit close 
then uh, your device should um, reboot and um, yeah and then go to this menu again so if it boots up just hit these three buttons at the same time release power button if the screen goes black and hold these two upper volume and volume down and go to this fast boot menu again then you have to restore your CID for that um, download this file on Mediafire I can show you which files you get you will get a folder named CID.zip I will show you what I mean so oh man this is quite slow now but anyway where's my folder so you will get this folder simply unzip it go to extract to CID yeah of course yes all oh I have already um, unzipped folder here so I can show you what's in it you will get these files here these are the equivalent files for um, your uh, downloaded fastboot file on your phone so the uh, bin bin file is the right one and um, it only works it works sometimes with other um, fastboot uh, files too but for this O2 fastboot file use <coughs> this folder and it will give you I will give you the link in the description to this post on XDA so we get the download and the O2 Jellybean name here and the um, the instructions of course and yeah when you have done that simply move your backed up CID to this folder so let's do that just uh, for you to see what I'm doing here go to your folder so I prepared this folder for you um, just to get it a little bit faster here on my screen so I get my CID in this folder here all together these files have to be there then um, hit the caps lock uh, the shift excuse me the shift button on your keyboard then uh, hit right click then go to command prompt open command prompt here make sure your device is still in fast boot mode that's very important and have your USB connected then copy all these um, commands here and I will disconnect just to make sure I won't restore my CID again not sure what happens I'm very careful now what I'm doing to my phone so just to show you make sure it's connected not like me now and go to your right click on your mouse press paste and hit enter so it's waiting for device now but when it's connected it should be um, done and there's some uh, time standing there then when you had have done this one just copy the next one and um, paste it hit enter and then the last one the actual CID and then your CID should be restored yeah guys I'm very excited to get to my phone and install a custom ROM so now I'm actually able to do all this great stuff again yeah with the help of XDA XDA is a great forum I just recommended great people on XDA everyone has an answer for you for your question and um, yeah because of this guy I have my phone running again and um, I haven't thought it would be simple as that as just like um, restoring my O2 jellybean file and then I could restore my CID because every time I wanted to restore my CID there was an error on the screen on the command prompt command restricted but with this O2 jellybean file it worked finally worked after so much time and now I can show you some videos again and yeah 
Guys, have a great day. I hope your phone works and you can enjoy it. I will see you in the next one and have a great day. Bye.